friends, this lesson we are going to further explore architectural scale, specifically human scale and its relationship to the audience and performance space. Before we incorporate the what and where into our designs, we must understand the who as in who we are designing for. In the theater, the human figure is the most important aspect of any stage picture, so today we are going to begin visualizing the performer in a scaled environment. In order to better understand the relationship between the performer and the environment, we are going to create scale figures. These figures will be miniature half-inch scale versions of yourself. For this activity, you will need scissors, a standard ruler, a graphite pencil, colored pencils, a glue stick or white glue, Elmer's is perfect, cardboard, loose leaf or white paper. Now that you have your materials ready, lay out a piece of your loose leaf or white paper. Next, align your ruler with the corner of the paper and lightly draw out a border using the ruler as a straight edge. This model will be constructed in half inch scale, which means that every half inch equals one foot zero inches. Using the ruler, mark out your approximate shoulder width and height in half inch scale. My shoulder width is approximately one foot six inches, so that's three quarters of an inch in half inch scale. My height is six foot. This appears as three inches in half inch scale. I'm going to check my work with an architectural scale rule using the half inch side. Not everyone has an architectural scale rule on hand, so this is not a necessity. It's time to get creative. Using your colored pencils, draw a sketch of yourself within the boundaries of the box. Be sure to color it in and depict your style of clothing. Now you have a scale elevation of yourself. Next, grab a small piece of cardboard and bead some glue onto the surface. Cardboard is a renewable material and is perfect for prototyping and modeling. It's sustainable in that it can be upcycled, recycled, and is biodegradable. Use a small piece of cardboard to spread the glue evenly onto the surface. Then place your drawing on top of the glue area. Let it dry, then, using your scissors, carefully cut out the figure. Now that you have a trimmed figure, cut out a small rectangle of cardboard to use as a base. Next, you can use a protractor or simply estimate a small 30, 60, 90 right triangle. This will act as a bracket and support your figure so it stands upright. Apply some glue, then assemble the pieces together. Now you have a scale version of yourself to use in future half-inch models. 